Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding highest grossing items using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume that you are given the table containing information on Amazon customers and their spendings on products in various categories. Okay, identify the top two highest grossing products within each category in 2022. So output the category product and the total spend. So basically this is the table which has five different columns category product user id spend and transaction date and this is one example of it right so basically for each category and product we need to find out what was the total spend right so for each category and product we need to you know group by each category and product and sum the spend and you will be getting the total spend for each category and the product and once you have that information then you need to see okay for different categories what are the top two products where the customer spend their money the most right so that is what we need to do so to do this the first thing that we should do is it says that you know we are only concerned about the year 2022 right so let's keep only those rows where year is equal to 2022 from this uh, column right so from this product same table let's keep only those rows where we need to use the extract function right which extracts various values from a column, right? So we are extracting the year from the column called transaction date, right? And if that is equal to 2022, then you keep those rows. So let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now if we look at it, right? So all the rows have year 2022. So once we have this, then what we need to do is for each category and product, we need to calculate the total spend, right? So we can write group by right group by the category and then the product and then you know we need to return the category the product and then the sum of the column spend right as total spend right let me run this let's see what we are getting now, if you look at it, so for electronics wireless headset, we have the total spend of 447.90 and similarly for others. Once you have this, then what we can do is we can store this entire thing in a common table expression and then we can basically use window function, ranking window function to basically rank that in each of the category, what is the highest number of spend, then the next one, next one, etc now let me do this right so let me store this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we need to do is we need to perform ranking so from this common table expression let's keep all the columns right so let's keep all the columns and then perform ranking now there are three ranking functions row number dense rank and rank right now here if you look at it right so the question says top two highest grossing products right so it is possible that in some of the categories right there are two products where all the users total spend was equal right so if you use rank or dense rank right so whenever there is a tie it will assign the same rank right so let's say for example uh, for electronics category the first two maximum spends were at tied so it will be assigned rank one and one and then if you are using rank the next one will be assigned rank three if you are using dense rank the next one will be assigned two now if once you have those ranks if you then do you know uh, less than is equal where rank, rank is less than equal to two then in those tie cases right so you are going to basically have more than two products in your output right if you don't want that, you need to use row number. So even if there are ties, so for example, in electronics category, even if wireless headset and washing machine, the total spend comes out to be equal, then, then also, you know, the rank assigned by row number will be one and two, right? And once you do rank less than equal to two, it will only keep two products, even if there are ties in it. So I believe from the common sense, uh, using row number here would be more appropriate. So we can write row number, 
right row number and then since this is a window function we need to write over clause and then for each category we want it right so partition by category and then order by right so order by total spend total spend in decreasing manner and let's alias this as rank rnk right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it appliance category washing machine is rank one and refrigerator is rank two for electronics vacuum is ranked one wireless headset two computer mouse three right so once we have this then what we can do is we can store this again in the common table expression so we can write okay cte2 right so cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses as well and then from this common table expression two, we are only going to keep those rows where rank is less than equal to two, right? And we need to return the three columns that are required in the output. So return the category, return the product and return the total spend. Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. So now if you look at it, right? So for each of the categories, we have the top two total spend products. Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. Again, not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, firstly, we made sure that the year in the transaction date column is 2022. And then for each of the category and product, we found out the total spend and then performed a ranking. We used row number to make it more generalized. And I explained the concept behind that, right? So once we have the row numbers or basically the rankings for each category right in decreasing order of total spend then one what we did was we only kept those rows where rank is less than equal to two because the question says that we need to find the top two highest grossing products so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video